Hello, <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to this video right now. It is going to be called something like how to determine if your person is ready for a union yet or not, or if you're reaching union or not. And I actually pulled out some tarot cards. It's not a card reading. I um, selected cards and I have to check if there's, there's some nudity on my cards. I'm sorry. So if you're not 18, click off there's nudity on those cards however it's it's art okay so okay i know that some of you won't like this video too much it might be triggering but that's okay because <laughs> sometimes we need to get triggered to go ahead in our journey but um yeah how do i start this so what i did i selected out the princes and princesses and the queens and kings in this deck however they're called sons and daughters and fathers and mothers however it's the queens and the kings and then we have emperor and empress and the thing is something i experience often is that a woman would be in her princess energy and for example here we have the princess or daughter of cups and we got the swords and yeah, we got the pentacles and the fire. So she may be in her princess energy. What is princess energy? A princess energy is somebody who is needy, who is um, someone who needs the other person. It's like you, it's your job to make me happy. And you are a narcissist because you don't act the way I want you to act. And um, you are ghosting me. Why are you ghosting me? I'm the victim. You're the evil person doing something to me. And it's your job to come. And why don't you commit to me? And I need you to commit to me. And um, I need you to... Dot, dot, dot. I need you <laughs> to... You know, neediness. That's princess energy. And as long as you are in this kind of energy, like I need you to make me happy. I need you to give me what I want. I need you to talk to me. I need you to reach out. I need you to be kind to me. Of course, you should never um, let anybody be unkind to you. However, if you attracted somebody who is unkind to you, then you need to check your own self-worth because we only attract mirrors that show you where you stand. And so when we are wondering, where is my person when it comes to union? How close are they? check your own energies because there is your answer if you are a princess you know like you need this other person to be happy you need this other person to do something you are upset when the other person is not around you are angry at the other person for not being there or for not doing what you want um, any of these distorted energies you know anger impatience neediness being sad and you put all of that pressure on the other person they're not gonna come it's not their job to make you happy truth mom i'm sorry but I, I really hope please listen to this video anyway because um we want to get to union right but again if you are in this kind of energy what you will attract is the sun the prince the princess will attract the prince not the king a princess cannot attract a king a king is the energy that well it's a king they have matured the king can give you stability the king the king of um wands that's the guy you see in this image he has to fight the dragon to get to the girl but first he has to get the sword of the stone the king of wands is the guy that is fighting for the girl who shows her his affection who is um going for after what he wants in this case this the girl the father of swords he is the guy that can communicate he can talk he can think he can decide he can make his decisions i want you i decided that i want you and also the king of swords doesn't have to be this cold being i mean what is swords swords is connected to gemini libra and aquarius gemini in tarot is the lovers and very social sign Libra is, can, is a Venus sign connected to the seventh house, which is the relationship house. And Aquarius is um, the humanitarian placement. So air doesn't have to be cold, right? Air is, they know what they want. They're smart. They're making a plan to get what they want. The king of cups, when he's upright, 
He knows his emotions. He knows what he wants. He's ready to give his emotions to his queen. He can't be emotionally mature. And then we got the king of earth. My favorite of the kings. King of earth. He is giving, providing stability. He says, I want this long lasting relationship. I am dependable. I am there for you. But again, if you are a princess, you know, needy, maybe still hiding from your own emotions. You know, the moonlight represents the emotions and he's, he's kind of hiding. She's scared to get hurt again. And she is hurt because the person is not there. It's distorted energy, you know. Maybe she is playing as well. Maybe she is um, playing games. Maybe she is trying to seduce him to get him to do in whatever he wants um maybe she's playing games like yeah i'm not putting my attention on you either you know all of these kind of games um will attract the sun the prince not the king look at her i'm mad at you don't come too close i got this huge wall this huge shield and my spear in my hand you know the kind of woman when the guy finally reaches out and she's like, I'm so mad at you because you have not reached out. I have clients like that. I heard it a hundred times. Like, I'm so mad. I was so mad. I told him how much he hurt me for not reaching out. It's like, you know, hitting them with the iron, like the, the frying pan, basically. Next time there's a separation. And if you understood it, energy, there will be another separation because they cannot mirror um, stability to you if you're distorted it's not possible it's not possible at all um it doesn't work that way so there will be another separation you will make it even harder for them to come the next time if you don't welcome them with open arms and by the way by that i don't mean welcome somebody who, with open arms who's mistreating you okay we don't do that we do our inner work we ask ourselves why did i attract a prince I must be a princess. I must be needy. I must have old wounds inside of me that are not healed. And that's why I attracted the prince, not the king. Okay, a princess, again, cannot attract a king. It is not possible. A princess will attract the prince, the immature energy, because she's in the immature energy. However, if she's doing the work, she is stepping into the beautiful, beautiful queen energy. Now we got the queen of cups connected to her emotions. She's no longer hiding from the emotions. The moon is there and she's in the moonlight. She's not hiding. Um, the queen, she no longer has her sword. She's alchemizing. She's transforming. You know, the peacock is standing for alchemizing because the peacock is eating poisonous plants and taking this poison to create the beautiful colors he has or it has. And she is stable. She's um, stability. She is the one who will attract the king. And also, she is no longer playing. She knows that she is the queen. Okay? And the queen will attract the king. A queen cannot attract a prince. The queen cannot attract the F-boy. The queen will not attract the guy that is ghosting her. Not possible. The queen has to attract the mature energy. What is mature? It's the king. The king that he knows what he wants. He is... And we're not talking about age, you know. Um, a guy could be 50 and still be in the prince energy. If he hasn't done his shadow work. And the woman who that hasn't done her shadow work is the one who will attract the prince. So we got the counterparts here. It's the king and the queen. So check where am I? Am I mad if he is not reaching out? Or do I know it's my responsibility? I still have something with inside of me that is keeping him away. That's the maturity. The queen, she does her work. She knows it's not the other person. She's not a victim. The queen is not a victim. Victim mentality, princess mentality. Okay, that's the princess. Princess gets the guy who's not serious about her, who is ghosting and whatever, whatever he's doing. 
the queen knows it's my responsibility to make sure that I am well. I take care of myself. I take care of my kingdom, whatever the kingdom might be, your kids, your job, whatever it is. She's taking care of her kingdom. She is taking care that she is treating herself like a queen. No, she's not the needy princess who needs someone to take care of her. She knows how to take care of herself. And this kind of energy, it's sexy energy. I mean, who wants this immature girl to take care of all the time? The king. He wants the girl who knows how to take care of herself. And then he wants to provide for her. Because he doesn't have to. But because she lets him. Okay, there is no neediness. Neediness is not sexy. Nobody likes neediness. And then, if you want to get the emperor, guess what? You have to turn into the empress. <laughs> this is the divine counterpart. This is um, basically like you, the, the sons and daughters, or the princes and princesses. This is trauma bonding. It's maybe like the first catalyst where you learn to step into the queen mode and um, the queen mode can attract the king and maybe you will live forever happy with your king might be however maybe your king was just another catalyst to get you to the divine energy you have the divine feminine with the um, what is the word empress and emperor so if you want to attract the divine masculine, you know, the, the emperor, the um, divine counterpart. And again, a king can be your, your counterpart for to grow old with. It, it might be, it depends on your soul contracts, you know, your, what your soul chose to experience. However, if you want, if you are on a divine journey, it's your job to become the empress. You cannot have the emperor when you're a queen or a princess. A princess can never, an emperor would even, wouldn't even look at the princess. He may look at the queen, but he'll be like, no, she's not ready. She's not on my level. And you may say, yeah, but they're not on my level. Yes, energetically, they are always on your level. You may judge them for not being on your level, but you cannot attract something that is not on your level, not possible. So this means you, if you're not dealing with the emperor, you're not the empress yet. Okay, and so if you see what you're dealing with and you see they're immature, you're still, it's your job to become the queen or to step up and become the empress. The empress, it's um, the queen of queens. She has all of the four elements within her. So she is um, as smart as the queen of swords. She is as um, creative or taking the initiati initiative. Is that the right word? She's doing her projects like the queen of uh, wands she is emotional like the queen of cups and she is stable like the queen of earth and that is the empress she has all the queens inside of her and you don't have to do that if that's not your journey you can be each of those queens is amazing they're all badass they're queens they're badass they're not princesses anymore they're queens and a badass girl will attract the badass guy in the best possible way. But if you are on a divine counterpart journey and you want the emperor, you want the divine masculine, you gotta be the divine feminine. Distorted energy will never attract divine energy. Not possible at all. So if you notice here, like, oh my guy, he's not on my level yet. Again, he will be on your level. It's just your own limiting beliefs. Do your inner work, level up, and they will have to follow. It's law of attraction. It's a law. It's um, You can only attract what you vibrate. And guess what? If you want the hierophant, the high priest, you got to be a high priestess. Okay? Um, this is rare energy, okay? But if you want the completely spiritual awakened guy, Guess what? You gotta be completely spiritually awakened woman. This would be like monadic twin flame energy, basically. You know, this could be tw split twins. One, once you, well, the split twins, they will go maybe through all of the stages. They may meet as the princess and prince and turn into the mother and the father. 
and then turn into the king and uh, sorry the emperor and empress monadic twin flames they will even level up even further to the high priest and high priestess so again if you want the spiritually awakened guy you gotta be a spiritually awakened girl it's no other way around however if you are this your guy will be this maybe different because again they're feminine and masculine so they will not be exactly the same one will have the feminine aspect and one will be the masculine counterpart so the energy will be somewhat different but completely complementary so yeah <laughs> that is how you know how far you are along on the union journey how close your guy or girl is re to reaching out to you you check your own energy okay and i know that may have been a bit triggering but still it's true and be a queen if you want the king be a queen you got that inside you every princess has the ability to grow up and be a queen i mean maybe not in real life if she's like the third born <laughs> not the first born but in this uh, metaphor we all are the first born and we all have the queen within us and we just need to push it out by treating ourselves as a queen remember a queen a queen, a true queen, is not ascending herself by belittling others. That's what the princess would do, okay? A queen knows she has responsibility. A queen is responsible for her queendom, for her kingdom, and for the people, her, what is the word? I, I don't know the word, but, you know, her people. So the queen is not... A queen because she rules she's a queen because and that's why I like in this deck they're called mothers she's the mother of her subjects subjects is the word I was looking for she is fair she is trying to do the what's best for everyone she's not putting herself above others she is above others because she's the queen and everybody has their own quantum bubbles you all are queens or can be queens um, but she's not doing that by looking down on others a true queen is helping others up a true queen will help others to become their own queen and she's not talking to them like they're princesses okay that is very important a queen a true queen will always help leveling other women level up and not look down on them not ever so um because some people think, yeah, I'm the best, I'm the hit, I'm the queen. And then they think that they're better than everybody else. That's not true. A true, maybe that's the difference between a queen and the empress knows that everything is connected, even more so the high priestess. But again, a queen, the queen of wands is not threatened by the queen of cups and the queen of swords. They know that they're all different. She knows like, yeah, I am the creative one. I may not be th the smartest one. That's the queen of swords, but I'm the creative one. I got stuff to bring to the table. It may be other stuff than that one or that one and that one. But that's okay because they're my best friends. <laughs> I love them for everything they bring back to the, they bring to the table. I don't have to bring the same stuff to the table. I'm the creative one. That doesn't make me better. Because she's the smarter one, she's the uh, more empathetic one, she's the more rational one, the one to the, the stable one, the one to to give the hands on, the practical one, and they are all amazing, all of them. They are amazing. None of them is better than the other, and they know that. They know that they are different, but none of them is better than the other one. So they would never say oh I'm more creative, so I'm better than you. No, that's not a. They would say oh you want to have a great picture I can draw you a picture how about you help me um, doing I don't know f doing my <laughs> my tax report queen of swords because you're the smart one or how about you I don't know teach me how to to cook I know I'm talking stereotypes right now but I mean there are stereotypes and of course we all have several stereotypes within us you know um, but you know they they complement each other so none of them would ever think they're better than the other ones and the daughters 
The queens, they teach the daughters. They don't look down on them. Because they know that one day in the past, they were the princesses. They just further developed. So they know they're not, they're not better. You know, it's like a 10th grader looking down on a 3rd grader. Why? Because they were in 3rd grade someday as well. And the 3rd grader may be even smarter than them one day. You, who knows, you know? It doesn't mean that the 10th grader is not better than a 3rd grader. They're just further developed. And that's what a queen would do. And even more the empress. The empress knows she's further developed than the queen. And she would not look down on the queen because she was once a queen. And she was once a princess before she came the queen, before she came the empress. And even so, the high priestess. Now we all go through different steps, so we're not better than anybody else. We're just further developed. And we help the other ones on our level, because life is greater when we have more people on our level, right? Because then we can share experiences. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked my cards. And again, check, uh, you, maybe you, sometimes we have difficulties to see objectively where we are. And if you have difficulties objectively seeing where you are, then check where's my guy at or my girl. Because it's often easier to analyze the outside than it is analyzing the inside. But what they mirror you, shows you exactly where you stand and then you change that you take that knowledge and you change it and you step onto whatever level you want may it be the queen the empress the high priestess doesn't matter it's um up to you the queen she can attract her counterpart again you know because the king he's mature and if that's what you want you want you don't care about this uh, spiritual ascension stuff you just want to have your spouse your match you know the queen of wands wants her king of wands that's perfectly fine you know y you don't have to level up even more if that's if you don't have the inner calling for that it's an inner calling if you don't have it it, it doesn't make you less but just your soul shows a different experience Okay, it's like one person may go to the university and be the best at professor there and another person says, no, I don't want to go to the university, but they become this amazing singer and another person um, says, no, I'm more like into fashion and they beca become this amazing fashion person, you know, it's all different energy. None of that is better. It's, it's completing each other. It's just um, the level is become a queen and then you can have your dream life with your king but you cannot attract a king when you're a princess it is against the law of attraction it's against the law <laughs> not the law as in human law but in the law of spirits <laughs> law of the universe anyway i wish you all the best and please like subscribe share my videos and um bye bye